One thing I hear most from people who dislike WordPress is that it's too much work to maintain. And while I don't disagree that WordPress requires more maintenance than other website builders, I don't believe that the amount of maintenance is impossible for the average business owner to complete. So as long as you know what needs to get done and can dedicate a little bit of time each month to performing some maintenance, there is no reason why you can't have a fully functional WordPress site. Here are the 10 monthly tasks that I recommend you make time for in order to keep your site healthy. Updating your plugins. If you have a WordPress website, you have plugins. When you log into your site, you probably see a number in a red circle beside the word plugins, indicating how many plugins you have that are out of date. All you have to do to update them is go to your plugins page, find the highlighted plugins, and click the link prompting you to update them. And you're done. In almost all cases, you won't have to do any further work in order to update your plugins. Updating WordPress. WordPress itself comes out with a new version all the time. Each version is an improvement on the one before. Many WordPress installs will update automatically, but you can always check for a new update by going to Dashboard, updates after you log into your WordPress site. If there's a new update for WordPress that's available, this page will prompt you to click the blue update button and follow a couple of uh, basic instructions. It should take you less than 30 seconds to do this. Update your theme. Whether you have a free or premium WordPress theme, you will need to update it in the same way that you updated your uh, WordPress core software. Again, sometimes they will update on their own, but usually not. Go to Dashboard, Updates, and check the Themes area of that page. Sometimes you may see that a theme that you aren't using needs to be updated. Go ahead and update that theme, or else completely delete it. Test your contact forms and any other forms on your site. If you have a contact or inquiry form of any kind, you should be testing them about once a month to make sure that they are functioning properly. You would hate to lose leads or sales due to a form that isn't working right or sending submissions to the wrong email address. Simply send a quick test form to yourself and just make sure that you get it. Update your promotions and deals. Chances are you offer some sort of promo or discount or something on a regular basis to bring in new business. If you don't, maybe consider it. A website is a great place for you to showcase any promos or sales that you have going on. A lot of companies rely on a monthly rotation, so things are constantly changing and new seasonal offers are constantly being released. Publish a blog post. If SEO is a focus for you, even if you just want to build some brand trust between you and potential buyers, blog posts are a great method for doing that. For SEO purposes, I personally suggest a post a week, but a post a month is fine if you're busy or don't feel like you have that much to say. Your monthly website maintenance check is a great time to reflect on the past month and maybe answer a question that you've been hearing a lot in a blog post. Check for malware. Check with your hosting provider to see if they offer any malware scanning tools that find malicious code that could bring down your site. If you run monthly scans starting in January, for example, if you find something amiss in April, you'll know that everything up until March was fine and you know that you can go to a backup from before April. Which leads me to my next point. Take a backup. There are tons of tools out there that offer you amazing backup capabilities. I prefer one called Manage WP. You can choose monthly manual backups or pay for daily ones. And if something happens to your site, you only have to pick a date and press restore in order to put your site back up. The program takes care of restoring the site to a healthy version for you. Daily is the best option, I believe, but if you're taking backups at least monthly, you'll be able to restore your site if something goes wrong. Test your links. Things can happen as you make changes to your site, especially if you have more than one person who alters and edits content, mistakes can sometimes happen. Once a month, it's a good idea to simply click through to your site and make sure that all of the links that you have go to the proper places. There's a great free plugin that I use called Broken Link Checker, which does exactly as the name suggests. It scans your pages, posts, comments, and custom fields and finds any links that are not working, images that are missing and may have gotten deleted, or redirects that are not functioning properly. Test the speed of your site. My favorite tool for testing site speed is called Pingdom. The Pingdom website speed test is very easy to use. You just type in the URL of your site and hit start. 
The tester will show you exactly how long it takes your site to load for a new user, as well as other more detailed information about what exactly might be causing your site to run slowly. So there you have it. Those are some great things to do once a month, might just take you an afternoon, that can really help your WordPress site to perform at its very, very best.